Yes, my people, good day. How you feeling? All right, you suspect that you have a blown head gasket? Let me show you a few things that you can check to confirm if you have a head gasket or not. All of these you can do yourself, and one of them is a little handy dandy little tool. Come on, let's go. I put a radiator in this thing just yesterday. The coolant level was all the way to the top, and I topped it off twice, and it disappearing. When the car is cold, radiator hoses are saw. You put the cap on, and you start the engine up. That hose is already starting to pressurize, and I just started it up. That's too much pressure for only to be running for five minutes. You understand? Cooling systems do heat up and build up pressure, but you don't build up that much pressure in just five minutes. Next thing, this is a Honda. Hondas are known to run smooth. Look at that can right there. That engine running rough, and it just gets a tune up. All right, you see that? Steam from the exhaust. Now, this is not winter time. This is summertime. So there's no way for me to have this much water vapor in the air. Something going on here. If you smell it, smell a little sweet. Not saying you should taste antifreeze. <laughs> I get lighted in. It is one of the characteristics of antifreeze. It tastes sweet and it smells sweet when it burns. So that's another point. So to recap, we have too much steam coming out the exhaust. The radiator hoses are getting hard too quick. I am losing coolant. The steam coming out the tailpipe smells a little sweet. But there's one more test we can do just to be sure, sure, sure. Now you might not have this tool at home, but I'll show it to you. All right. And this can confirm if we have head gasket leak. This is a combustion leak tester. So we're going to check it chemically figure out what's going on. This fluid here is blue, you can see it. But this fluid, when it is exposed to hydrocarbons like emissions, it turns from blue to green. So you use this little apparatus here and you put some of the fluid in it. Maybe to right there, you see it? You see how it's blue? And you set it up like so, right? And you're gonna squeeze this and when you let go, you see it pulls in air through here, passing it through the blue liquid. Now, if there are any hydrocarbons or emissions in the air, it turns from blue to green. Let's check it. Remove the radiator cap. Hear the pressure release. That's not normal. And then making sure that the fluid level is not all the way to the top because you don't want to suck fluid through here, just air. And you set it. And you squeeze. Look at that. See that color now? And if you don't think it's green, this is where we started at. And this is where we're at now. So, that confirms it. But look at this cool trick, right? Fresh air out here. See that? Turn back blue again. Yeah, bad out of road. I'm not going to add it back to my bottle still, but it's pretty cool. Fresh air reverses the chemical reaction, right? <laughs> I tell you, bad out of road. So, this vehicle undoubtedly, we confirm it in so many ways, has a blown head gasket. Could be a crack head, which, <laughs> a crack head, could be a crack in the head, whichever the case. And don't forget to go and subscribe to my YouTube channel.